Do I think Shang-Chi will be another formulaic MCU movie? Yes! Do I think it'll fail financially? Yes! And do I think that its failure will be blamed on systemic racism towards Asians? Yes, precisely. Shang-Chi is the newest addition to the MCU and the second movie of Phase 4. For those of you that don't know, I love a decent chunk of the Marvel movies, and I've liked Marvel before it was popular. It has been something that I've grown up with, with my first introduction to it being Superhero Squad, then Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and then the MCU. The MCU has brought the characters that I and millions of others have loved to life in a satisfying way that interconnects them across dozens of films. But with the Infinity Saga over and superhero fatigue setting in, every post-Endgame inclusion has failed spectacularly to actually be good. They sterilize you. It's efficient. One less thing to worry about. The one thing that might matter more than a mission. Kind of just go in and they rip out all of your reproductive organs. They just get right in there and they chop them all away. Everything okay, out. Okay, it's just enough. okay, shut up. You've got to do better, Senator. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. Fine. You let us sleep. We have your nightmares. <gasps> your grief is poisoning us. No, stop. Please, let us go. <laughs> It's not like Eternals has me jumping for joy and eager to go see it. Back to Shang-Chi. The first trailer intrigued me since it didn't really look like a Marvel movie. And by that, I mean ultimately fluffed with a bunch of jokes and trying to introduce as many new and old characters as they can to build up for the next big bad. However, the second trailer quickly changed my mind. It looked like a standard MCU movie, which at this point isn't enough to get me to go see it in the theaters. Especially after the excellent but flawed ending Endgame gave us. So, after Endgame, everyone is looking towards Marvel, wondering what they're going to do next. And it looks like they're going to go in the direction of a multiversal war. So, why should I care about a son and his evil daddy? How is that going to tie into this grand new treat? In all likelihood, it won't. Marvel sure doesn't care, with reports of if Shang-Chi fails, then Eternals will be pushed back to a later date. Also, a lack of advertising reminds me of a something similar to Luca which is an actual good movie that I recommend. Disney sure doesn't care, shown by the CEO's statement. And even the director doesn't care about his own film. So again, why should I? The public doesn't care. You don't hear people talking about how excited they are for Shang-Chi. Everyone's talking about a much cooler MCU film that I'm cautiously excited for. Hello, Peter. As someone who likes to create videos of my own, I take pride in every project that I do. I certainly wouldn't badmouth my own videos unless they were garbage, but then why would I make them in the first place? So seeing a director telling people to go see the movie for the end credit scene and not the movie should be a huge warning sign about his confidence in Shang-Chi. I bet the end credit scene will do something with the giant planet-eating bean. If this movie fails, you can guarantee that media and news outlets will blame Asian hate towards the failure of this film. Why? Because it's already happened with many other movies. It's the only excuse directors and studios will accept instead of facing the cold hard truth that they made a piece of <laughs> film that people don't want to see. A few films that come to mind are Captain Marvel, Ghostbusters 2016, and the Charlie's Angels reboot, the, the second one. And with early reviews calling it the best comic book movie ever, I can't help but think of another Marvel movie that had similar results and ended up being one of the weaker films to say the least. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not, but- I'm part Korean, you bitch. Overall, I think the action will be fine, the acting will be fine, the characters will be fine, 
Everything will be fine and safe because we have to keep it the same because audiences are too stupid to realize that nothing of substance is being provided and it's too hard to challenge filmmakers for quality nowadays. I hope I'm wrong. I honestly do. I hope this film is the next Iron Man. <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, but when looking back at Phase 4 and everything that's come out so far, mediocrity would be a godsend. At least it can't be worse than Black Widow, right? Well, I'll see if my predictions are correct after I see the film myself.